Hey, what's up, everyone? So uh, today we're visiting Ocean Gallery 2. It's located at 980 US 22 in North Plainfield, New Jersey. The shop itself is open daily. Here are the hours and the phone number if you need to get in contact. Plus, the information for the store will be down below. The first thing you met with is this great zero edge aquarium. All the corals that are in this um, tank are for sale. But you, them, I'm just amazed at how the no edge and the water coming over the top of it into the trough and recirculating uh, is just something to look at. Now just beyond it, you can see this great nano tank um, filled with life, filled with coral, and just doing really good. Showing you that the smaller tanks are just as gorgeous as the bigger tanks. So just beyond the display tanks, you're greeted with a whole line of products as far that you'll need to uh, both dose, supplement, um, test, anything that you can think of, um, they have it in the store. From Red Sea, Brightwell Aquatics, so you can see that here is represented, and um, there's Dr. Tim's, pretty much all the major brands are covered in, in the store. So it's not only the salt water, but also a fresh water side of the hobby is, is catered to in this store. Uh, all the products you need for the fresh water side, as well as dry food and frozen food is available, which brings you to the uh, fresh water section of the store where they have many, many different varieties of fish, plants, and just taking a stroll through here was a joy. Um, I had since I was out of the freshwater side for so long, it was kind of a, a, a nice thing to go through the freshwater and see where the fish were at, what kind of fish were available now, and um, how colorful the fish are compared to when I last was in it. Of course, the cichlid side of the store is always a joy to go through and see all the different varieties of cichlids that are available. And of course, you can get lost in this section, um, but also it brings you to uh, any kind of plant that you would want in a planted tank and just how just seeing the planted tanks really is amazing and how beautiful they are as well as um, the discus tank always a joy to see these these fish as well which led me to this little guy this is a freshwater puffer and he is just I mean all the puffers in this tank were just full of personality and really great to see and just remind you of what variety you can have in a freshwater system Right next to the freshwater side is um, sands, different decorations, different nano tanks that are available, as well as larger tanks um, that are for sale. Anything you need as far as plumbing and um, cleaning for maintenance, um, they sell. They handle a wide variety, and it was really, really nice to see such a large variety of products being handled through in the store. Now here are the larger tanks and, and that uh, are on sale and after just admiring these for a while really made me want to go back to the uh, salt water side and see what was available uh, for me to purchase that day. Once you walk down the aisle and walk back to the salt water side you're greeted by this monster. This 300 gallon display tank is filled with just really really gorgeous fish and coral and anemones and um, you could spend literally and you know hours just staring at this tank and admiring it um, looking really close you could see this maroon and gold uh, clownfish making it home in its anemone and it, this thing was a monster when I was there um, just the sight of this fish um, catches your eye and realizes that there's such a wide variety when it comes to clownfish and uh, all different kinds of fish for the hobby. I mean look at these bubble tips right here. I was really amazed at how they were and really jealous at the same time because I can't keep them in my tank uh, because I don't have the room but there is plenty of room inside this tank and really made me wish uh, to jump into the larger tanks because looking at the amount of space available in this huge tank I mean to me 300 gallons is huge um, I realized that my 90 is really really small 
and I really want to get a bigger tank so this way I can fit a lot more stuff inside it. Um, I just spent a lot of time looking at this tank and just catching all the different fish and different corals and just different life that's in it and how um, much room was available from front to back. So now moving along from the display tank comes the fish tanks. There's a lot of different things as far as um, genus of fish. Uh, clowns well represented. You have the small to the larger fish that are also available and all the fish are healthy, the tanks are all clean. And um, basically anything that you would want, they would have. And if you need help, the staff is always willing to um, basically lead you down the road that you need to be in, whether you have a predator tank or uh, a reef tank, they'll be able to advise you on what's the best choice and what fish you should have in your tank. Now coming past the uh, smaller fish, there was this fox face that made me miss, miss the one that I had in my system and, and kind of long to get another one, uh, but also you come to the larger fish and, and here was a tank that was filled with some really, really gorgeous fish. Um, just looking at them and, and kind of being jealous because some of these fish I can't keep in my tank because they would annihilate my system but um, they're just gorgeous also besides that anything you need as far as cleanup crew they're here as well uh, they're fully stocked with pretty much any variety of, of cleanup crew that you would need from snails feather dusters uh, emerald crabs they have them and here you see uh, I focus in on a pretty big emerald crab that they had which this this guy was was something to look at and his little buddy behind him uh, just happy to be there and cleaning up the rocks the fish that they have it, it, it never stops to, and it ceases to amaze me how many how many different varieties they had and, and just how nice they were to look at also if you ever need rock, this is the place to go. They had this whole wall of rock just sitting there, um, basically in water, ready to go. So it's a one-stop shop for anything you need as far as the hobby is concerned. Now we come to my favorite part, which is the coral. They had just got a shipment in, uh, I think it was the day before or a couple of days before or whatever, but this place was stocked with coral. They had a, a lot of tanks filled with coral, ready to sell and ready to go. Uh, all different kinds of varieties, all different kinds of, uh, you know, colors from, you know, your greens all the way up to your pinks and, and just everything in between. Um, it's amazing to see how many kinds of different color corals you can have in one place at one time. And believe me, this area <laughs> took the most out of my day. Uh, just spent going back and forth, kind of making a checklist of what corals would look good in my tank and also what corals were on my list. Um, it just didn't stop that whole day, just going back and forth. And then there was this tank with this huge monster clam in it and this guy was something to see. It was about the size of a, of a football and um, just seeing him there I was like wow <laughs> I have no room for that one. But right next to him were some more of the, the more colorful pieces a little bit more expensive but well worth it and actually it was out of this tank that I pulled out piece for my tank. Now what I did here is I had the blue lights on and the gel filter on just to catch more of um, what was going on in the tank. Uh, the Galaxia corals that they had were, were gorgeous as well as all the different kinds of varieties. They were really really colorful in this tank and um, would look good in anybody's system. All the corals that I saw, most of them, a lot of them 
were already encrusted onto the plug, which made you feel good because you knew that they weren't fresh cut. Because when they're fresh cut, they're still stressed out and it could be a problem putting them in your tank. So it was good to see that a lot of these were already encrusted onto the plug and they had been in the system for a while. That coral is ridiculous. It's just a wave of tentacles. And like I said, there it is. There's the piece. This, this Millie was sitting out and it's all different kinds of pinks. My camera doesn't do it any justice, but this is in my tank and it'll be in a future update. There's also a tank with anemones. Any color that you wanted, they had. I mean, this clear anemone all the way up to different color rainbows. Um, the bubble tips were gorgeous and this basket of um, orange and rainbow bubble tips was really, really a, a nice thing to see. And if, like I said, if you want a rainbow or you want a bubble tip at a really good price, then stop by Ocean Gallery and uh, check out what they have. So as we end the video with some pictures that I took, some stills, um, just remember if, you, if you're in the New Jersey, New York area and you want to stop by Ocean Gallery, all their information is going to be in the description down below. I will let the pictures play out and uh, see you next time. As always, this is Scott and I'll see you soon around the reef tank. Thank you for watching this episode of Roscoe's Reef with Scott. As always don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe.